Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly, weekly reading for November 12th through the 18th. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I focus on love. Sometimes love doesn't come up. This rate reading is not a private reading, so for some of you, it will not resonate. It's going to resonate for the people that believe and the people that are struggling and the people that it is meant to resonate with. The, the universe is going to give the message to the people that need it the most, right? So, Virgo. What does Virgo need to hear? Page of Swords. Now, the Page of Swords is a messenger. He brings in a message that of conflict, unfortunately. Okay, a conflicting, a conflicting message. Okay, this message comes in, and it may not. You may receive a message you don't want to hear. You know that makes you feel uneasy. All right, you could be dealing with somebody who is just uh, gossiping. You know, so be be beware, beware. Or this person could be coming with the truth. Whoever this person is, they can't control their tongue. And they're going to tell you something that upsets you. Okay? It's an upsetting message coming in. I'm sorry, I can't I can't just lie about it, right? So here there's there's a you may it may you may be in disbelief. Right? You may be like, ah, I don't believe you. This is just, I'm, I don't believe this. I really, this is unbelievable. Um, okay, so there could be an end of a partnership here for the Two of Cups. We do have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Taurus as well, and we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you may be receiving a message. I, maybe that's from the air sign that... Um, there's a divorce coming or a breakup coming or somebody has went in a different direction by the looks of things or somebody's splitting up or oh something like that you know yeah you could be receiving the message from an air sign there's a good chance because we have we have double air right here or somebody has a lot of air in their chart. This person is not considering your feelings at this point. Okay, they're coming to tell you something, or you're, they're going to tell you something that probably mm, makes you feel uncomfortable. feel the need to uh, get the rest of the cards <laughs> before I keep talking. Alright, so whatever is happening, it's happening to give you something. It's going gonna, it's gonna to bring something, something into your life. It is with the Six of Pentacles. You're going to receive something that is going to help you Believe it or not, and you may be in disbelief because that's what this is. It looks like there's some sort of secret that's going to be revealed. Somebody is going to tell you something. Somebody has made a decision. To give you something, you're going to get something. Somebody's going to give you something. And this could even be a proposal or, or an apology or something that you've been waiting for and something that you deserve. Somebody is about to, whatever this me, whenever this message comes in, you're, you may feel like it's a lie or I don't believe it. You're going to receive a message and somebody somebody is going to help you. Somebody is going to give you something 
and it's like it's gonna lead you down a new path it is it's gonna lead you down a new path interesting There's a golden opportunity. Somebody, look at how big that pentacle is. Somebody, it could be this King of Cups. It could be another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know who this is. We, Whoever this is, you are going to be, so it looks like somebody may be opening their heart and wanting to start over or start a fresh new phase with you or somebody wants to start something with you because this is a beginning. They, maybe they've been planning on doing this and now all of a sudden they have decided that they're ready to walk down that path, whatever it is. And this is something that you've been waiting for, okay? There's been a secret here and you've been waiting for this to be revealed and you probably knew this was going to come. You just didn't know when it was going to come. Now... Now you have you are presented with this choice, this decision in regards to accepting whatever this person is offering you. So you're receiving an offer from somebody, and I think it's an offer of of <sighs> something big, okay? It's a big offer. It's something that is <laughs> well. It's a solid offer. It is a solid offer. You have a man here, if you're a woman. If you are a woman here, you have an option, first of all, between two people. Okay? You have an option between two people. No doubt about it. If you're a woman, you have two two men on the table, okay, to choose from. And uh, somebody is finding their power, you know, their internal power to communicate how they truly feel. And it looks like you're going to be, because the way that this comes off, it, you know, they're acting with their heart, but because they're saying it so bluntly, you may be like, are you kidding me? I, I really don't believe this. I don't believe this. You have a soulmate connection here, for one thing. You have a soulmate connection here. It could be with any sign in which it looks to me like somebody is coming with some sort of an apology or proposal or gift or something. Something. And it, But it's after you feel uncomfortable but you're going to first you're going to receive if you're going to you're going to hear it okay you're going to hear that this is coming okay maybe you hear it from your intuition i don't know it's like you know this is coming okay whether you hear it from your intuition or you hear it hear it from another person it's like oh so and so broke up with this person and you know they're they're talking about you they're asking all kinds of questions about you that's just an example or this person is like did you hear this and this about this person they just got a divorce or something like that you know, or who knows? Who knows what this is? You have somebody here that is, is going to, you know, tell you something that's going to be like, what? No way. No way. But then it comes out to be true. Something like that. It's like what you heard is the truth. It's the truth. So it looks like now you are going to have to make a decision because, okay, let me just put this card right here for a second. It was right here, but... The Seven of Cups reverse is the decision. It's the decision between two people. Between, you know, that's what this is. The decision between two people. So I feel as though, and if it's a woman, there's a decision, there's a decision between two men. And if it's a man, there's a decision between two women. There absolutely is. So it goes both ways. Either way, one of these offers is solid. One of these offers is a solid opportunity to start over, really, with the page of coins. It's where you start over on that path. You start at the beginning again. I'm willing to learn new things. I'm willing to do whatever I got to do to um, bring balance and harmony to the relationship, whatever. Somebody is coming in with something. And it's. I think you know what it is. I do. I think that your intuition has been telling you. And if not, really listen to your intuition at this time, okay? Anyway, it feels as though 
somebody has had a breakup. Somebody has had a breakup. They have made the decision. They have. The decision has been made to let go of something and move forward in a new direction. That's This is what this is, okay? There's somebody is is moving forward in a new direction. Because wherever they were at, there was no wish fulfillment. There was no hope left there. It's like there was no abundance there. The, the well went run dry. It just wasn't, wasn't love, okay? The love didn't grow. It like, it was based on false pretenses, whatever it was. Somebody has closed a relationship, and now it looks like they're headed in your direction with with an opportunity. And you're going to be very tempted by this opportunity. Oh, yes, you are. It could be Capricorn. It could be a Capricorn. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's what I see so far. Anyway. Yeah, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But there's going to be a such a strong attraction between you and one of these people that it is going to be hard for you to say no, whatever it is. I think there's a karmic tie, a karmic a karmic relationship here that perhaps still needs closure because nines are closure and this one's reversed it's like this karmic cycle hasn't closed yet and it feels like it's it's coming around to be dealt with what the hell is this yeah it is it is somebody has they may, somebody may come back into your life and say, I, I've changed, I've changed, I've healed, I've, I've worked on myself, I've learned to do this, I've learned to do that, I, I know how to manage my, my emotions better, I know how to, um, deal with my temper, I know how to, I've, I've went through a transformation, um, I'm not the same person I used to be. You may hear those words, okay? You may hear those words, but be careful. Be careful. Is it a lie? Is it a lie? I mean, what does the devil bring? Karmic ties or situations that you need to learn from. They tempt you. And you've been dealing with somebody that... in. Whoever this person is, they have addictions. There's no doubt about it. They do. They have addictions. It could and addictions come in many forms. It could be codependency. It could be drugs. It could be alcohol. It could be food. It could be sex. It could be gambling. I mean, it could be anything. It could be whatever it is. I don't know. There's some addictions here. This person's going to come in and says, you know what? I have taken charge of my life. I've got everything under control now. And I would love for you to, you know, let me come back. <laughs> oh, my God. See, he wants to go back to what he's left. This guy has left a couple things behind and he needs to go back and get them. And you're going to be, you're going to be like, oh, God, I'm so tempted. I am so tempted because that's what the devil brings, temptation. They do. This person that that um, deceived you in the past had a huge ego. I mean, this is a card of ego. Look at the look on his face. He was very egotistical. He may this person may come back and say, "I'm not that same person. I'm not that same person. I'm not. I'm not that person. I'm not. I love you. I love you. Be careful. Be careful. Seriously. Are they lying? What are their intentions?" And you're probably going to be like, well, uh, hmm. I'm not sure. I have to. Now you would know that you have to make a choice between two paths. Do you go back to this person that deceived you in the past, that lied to you, that says they, they've changed? Or have you healed and evolved 
into a completely different person and you're no longer in love with them. You need to make a decision between two people. Do you choose the, the new one or the old one? And that is exactly what this is. That's exactly what this is. You're going to have to make a choice between two, two lovers. Torn between two lovers feeling like a fool. And this is going to happen very, very quickly when it does happen. You're going to receive some communication, whether it's from this problem child or brother or sister or somebody, whoever it is, this person. It could even be the person that's messaging you. Either way, you're going to receive some sort of communication or message from somebody that you are, causes you to be in disbelief. You're going to be like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You deceived me. I was deceived so badly by this person, and you're probably gonna you're probably gonna be like, <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I gonna do about this? You're probably gonna you're probably ready to cut this person's head off, you know. But you're thinking about it. You're probably like, hmm. you know, I don't have faith in this. You may you may you may spit back some words, and okay, you may be like. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe what you're saying. To whenever you get this message, you may come right out and say you're you're joking with me. I don't believe you for a second. You know, something like that. You may you may say what you think instantly. It might be like an instant reaction of, you know, dismay. But anyway, in in the end, you are going to have to make a decision in regards to going back or moving forward. And your intuition is going to give you the answer here. Follow your intuition. The intuition is, this is the main outcome. The intuition, it, your intuition is going to tell you which route to take. And you are going to have to make a final choice here. You are. You are. You are going to receive an offer. And this offer is, 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 is probably going to be between, you're going to have to make a choice between two people. And one of them... Um, <laughs> has deceived you in the past. Or you've deceived them. I mean, there's been some deceit. There's been a lot of lies here. There has been some lies. But it looks like somebody is about to come with the truth. And it is a soulmate connection. There's karma here. Okay? There is. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, there you are. You may need to take a step back, okay? You might be need like be like, man, I can't. This is so unbelievable that I have to take a time out and retreat and think about this. Really, really think about this. You're dealing with somebody who has been enlightened, and now they're going to enlighten you, and you're going to be like, Oh my God. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm going to have to think about this. You're going to be like, I have to think about this. And you are going to have to think about making this decision that you're, you're going to be faced with. Torn between two lovers. One of them that you were, that you have to choose from was very overly critical of you. And they have may have misjudged you in the past. And I mean, this is going to go right here. You, When you first hear this news, you may become defensive. You may be like, I don't even know what you're going to say. Especially if you have air in. If you have air in your chart, it might not be pretty. But anyway... You know, you're going to be like, you may be, when you hear this news, you might be on the, on like, oh, not very nice, okay? The words that come out might not be very nice. You are receiving a, a new offer. You are. Absolutely. And I think that you're, you're probably flattered by it. You know, you're going to feel flattered. You're going to feel like, wow, wow. 
You may f you may even feel a little twinge of excitement because now the power is in your hands. The power gets put right back into your hands. Look at that. Now you have an opportunity, and you like I said, you may get a little bit defensive. Anyway, um, you have a you're receiving some sort of invitation or offer to go down a new road with somebody. There's no doubt about it. Oh, and that see, I shuffled, and this it's there's a there's a, a lot of passion to be had here, and I think the sparks are gonna fly. The sparks are absolutely gonna fly. You could be receiving communication from a few different directions. Okay, that's what it looks like to me. I think that you probably have a, a couple of different options here and you're going to be receiving messages from a few different options and you're probably going to be like, man, this is a decision that is going to take me a little bit of time to make. But whoever you're dealing with doesn't want you to take your time. They want you to make that decision now, right now. Oh, God. And, you know, somebody's going to get hurt out of this situation. And maybe it's you. Maybe it's you hurting because if you look at this card, you have to decide. And it's like, oh my God, oh my God, this is too much for me. So I think that you are going to probably go through some sort of um, heartache because somebody's going to get cut out. Somebody's going to get cut out. Somebody's going to get let go. You have to make this final choice, right? And, and it's a difficult one. A difficult choice and I think that you're probably gonna feel some pain from this and because knowing that you know if you think this is the two of swords on this side so this is the painful choice the decision and the, the sword is in your hand the three the third sword is in your hand you're gonna be the one that kibosh you're gonna be the the one that makes this difficult decision to say, you know, no, I'm not that person. I've changed. I don't love you anymore. Whoever it is. And that hurts. So I feel like there's going to be some communication that comes in this week that really... messes with you okay and you're gonna have to make a decision which road which road are you gonna take somebody whether it's the new love or the old love or whoever it is somebody's gonna get hurt and you're gonna be the one that has the sword in your hand the power is in you. you're the one in control here Virgo you have one person that is very well suited for you. You have a, a suitor that is a perfect match. But before you can... Grow with this person. You have to have closure on one situation first. You're going to have to defend yourself. You're going to have to defend. You're going to have to. I mean, the, whoever you were dealing with in the past, they deceived you. They didn't respect you. They criticized you. They brought you down. And they, they caused you to walk on eggshells. And now. You have to decide to move on without them or not. And it hurts. That's what I see. Anyway, I feel like you are being called to take this, be patient, and give yourself all the time that it needs. If you take your time making this decision, even if this person wants you to do it right now, you know what you say to them? If you love me, you'll, you'll let me make this decision. <laughs> if this person who wants you to make the decision right now 
it really has your best interest at heart, they will stick by you as you make the decision. Okay? They at least give you some a few days, right? Anyway, um it's a time of transition with this card. You are you are you have done a lot of work. You've you've changed. The other person says they've changed to whatever, whatever. Or they're going to change or whatever. The fact of the matter is is that you have to make a choice now whether they've changed or not. Do you trust them? Doesn't look like it. Especially with that Seven of Swords reversed, if they've left you feeling robbed in the past. You know, they robbed you of, of what? Truth? Anyway, it looks like that you are going to be given the, the opportunity to... make a very difficult decision and it's not really an opportunity it's not it's a painful choice <laughs> okay so you're gonna have to make a decision the torn between two lovers and it looks like the, you're gonna have one of them that's gonna say now or never Is it me or is it them? And you're going to be the one that makes that decision. So be prepared to face your demons. The devil card, face your demons because time is now, divine timing. Virgo. Ooh, these came flying out. Look at this, okay? Hopefully you saw that happen. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Someone from your past is returning to your life. Look at the contradictions. Don't think that your ex is the one. Okay? Okay? There's somebody else from your past. And people get this mixed misconception all the time. All the time. Re someone from your past is returning to your life. This is someone, an acquaintance. Somebody that you went to school with. Somebody that you went to work with five years ago or ten years ago or twenty years ago. Somebody that you met at a conference somebody from a past life uh could be anybody someone from your past is returning to your life and you're gonna have to make a choice between your ex and this new person your ex is not in this card your ex left you on your own they left you in despair crying begging Drop it. You have somebody else who is going to love you and cherish you. Sent from above. Whoever it is, whether you're with this person now, still, and you're in despair over this person, release them. Because this person that loves you the way that you deserve to be loved is here. And you have to make a choice. Your intuition has the answer. Listen to it. 